Welcome to New Fero Stadium, home of the Snuffalo Thrills. The city's tourism slogan, shuffle off to Snuffalo and die. It's very appropriate as the Thrills fans are eager to see their opponents buried today. Very popular honeymoon spot, Pilgrim. When the honeymoon's over, do what those people do. Jump off the floors with the old ball and chain. Hey, anybody see my good smokes? Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Snuffle Thrills. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're gonna love seeing mutants knocked cold, their brains turned into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Ah, oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm gonna go get some of them extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. And it's first and 10. for a second there. Second down and 10. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talk to the F. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. And that'll bring up third and one. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and six. And the quarterback calls us perfect pass and the score! <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. 
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Moving it in for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. Third down and well, good luck. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. A pickup of about three on that play. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a light. Boom! And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. the quarterback for a sack. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Third down and long. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And up comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball, preferably further than that. It starts with a shank. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot two. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh. 
Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Third down and three. Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But and the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably show up on the radar. And they get stumped cold. Hey, Grim, remember what I said when Briggs wanted to bring in a fish buffet in our tiny air seal broadcast booth? I believe that was. Who could have thought that was a good idea? Yeah, just checking. I'm thinking that again. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Third down and the punter is warming up. And that pass play is good for eight yards. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. And the kick is good. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. They are going for it, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the rim. And just like that, the first rep is done. I think I won the pool on that. I had him in my first box. Well, someone's got to be first. It's got to be first or something at least once in life, even if it's dying. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is and picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. And then's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And the 
defense holds that pass play to only two yards. <sighs> Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh, hot two. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. I personally think that the giant devastating hit knocks the ball loose. Second down and a lot. killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag he's killing me in the fantasy league third down and well good luck caught for the first down The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go into a strip tease show, where we going? Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. Second down and more than the QB would like. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And they'll keep the drive alive 
as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snags. He got hit by a car and died. Just... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. Third down and six. You've got to catch that. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Well, that's a lovely shake for the punter today. He just put his team in the hole. Nicely done. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Don't you just love the sound of the bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey. Maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. Three-yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three-yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Third down and six. Hot. Hot. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. You know what happened? Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Now, that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. for a first down.
And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. throw that sonic black good throw good catch but not quite good enough at nine yards quarter three comes to an end but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter and that'll bring up second and one and that's just a great run for a touchdown Nobody can touch me an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom! Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They plagued you, moron. He said balls, not bells. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. yard on that one not my yard got too much buried in you know the usual money bodies coffee cans filled with well uh you know mostly coffee tastes better like eskimos burying salmon heads can she fermented anything really tastes good the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick pow and how about a little dirt sandwich okay i got 
Get down now. Get down. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me of that Tom Hanks movie. Ah, Philadelphia, good movie. Yeah, yeah, Philadelphia. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Hold everything. They're going for it on fourth down. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! They're going for two points. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> they want more points, so they're going for two. I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Moose right now. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Well, feed five, foe, fum. I oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. two-minute warning sound there's not much time left at all and it's first and ten and that's a great nine-yard completion there hey it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. 
Ingram. First down. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Oh, nice hit! First down and nine. He had it for a second there. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Maybe I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. The Thrills lose one at home today and go down in defeat. Well, they are who we thought they were. Ah, uh, wrong teams, idiot. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Grim yeah. Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.